I want to quickly cover the different topics that Mapify adds to your WordPress admin, uh, specifically adding a map and then adding a location to your map. Uh, first setting, you want to click on Mapify.it. This is where you set up your map itself. Now with the basic version, you can only have one unique map per installation of WordPress. If you want more maps, more pinpoints, and just a ton more options and uh, customization in general, you're going to want to visit www.mapifypro.com. Uh, that software is just kind of a Mapify on steroids. It's our advanced version. So check that out if you need more functionality. But for the basic version, uh, you're going to want to navigate here to set up your single map. Um, this is broken down into three core categories, the general, the map image mode settings, and the map Google Maps mode settings. Now, your first setting here is to choose whether you want to display a custom image or if you just want to stick with Google Maps. Um, so let's just pretend that I'm going to choose an image. First thing I want to do is select my pinpoint, which will be the custom graphic that appears and overwrites the, the pinpoint that Google Maps uses down here. Um, it could be any image you like, uh, and we include one in the files. So just check out the Photoshop file to, uh, to get yourself a custom pinpoint there. And obviously there's just thousands of them online that you can find and use or use your own created custom pinpoints. Uh, very similar um, features there with the image mode. Also, you can use your own map images, and we include those free with the with the plugin um, that are the same as what we use on the demo. So you'll you'll want to upload your default image, which is the smaller one, and then your zoomed in version, which is a bigger version of the map with the same aspect ratio, so that zooming kind of stays in line. Um, Again, check out the free files that we include um, for a, a good kind of guide to get you started if you, and feel free to use those as needed. The background color is if you use a transparent PNG, uh, say if you have an island floating in, in the map and um, you want just a blue background, this will let, allow you to set the background via HTML and just have your image floating on top of that. So you can choose any color, enter it here, or just pick from the color picker. Map drag momentum is the special effect that gives it that kind of app-like feel instead of just stopping when someone clicks and drags, it has a more smooth app-like effect. Uh, I'd recommend 400 to 450, otherwise it gets a little uh, too much and doesn't feel natural. For zoom, this is just the ability to zoom into your map. You can turn it off. A lot of people don't want to have to zoom first to read the pinpoint tooltips and that sort of thing. Now, Google Maps mode settings is if you have chosen Google modes up at the top. So pretty much the same thing. The uh, It's mainly about controlling your zoom level. You pick a location. So you can only do this after you've, you've added a map location, but you, you can pick a location to zoom in on and then set your zoom level. This will set the default zoom level on your post or on your site where you've placed your map. Um, and allow you to zoom in as close as you want, whether you want to go down to the neighborhood or zoom all the way back out to the, uh, you know, to show the world or just the country. Uh, it allows you to do that. And of course, after you've done all your settings, you just click save changes and your map will be all set to go.